I am Ryoko Toyama, a painter in a script. Welcome to my fourth solo show in the gallery at the Tech. For this show, I have selected 27 paintings completed during the past two years. They reflect my life on the Olympic Peninsula, blessed by surprising encounters with nature. Uh, please join me inside for the gallery. Thank you. No. I am. I'm Linda Larson. I'm a retired college level art instructor and uh, I have a large studio of my own in the bottom of my house, which I spend a lot of time in. Uh, I'm, I'm impressed with Ryoko's work because she has a very strong use of color and she balances it in a very appropriate way. Um, can you give us an example? Point at one, maybe? Well, just about all of them are like this, but you know, they have quite a nice balance of color and shape. So this would be a good example right here. Good, thank you very much. Hi, I'm Susan Spar, and out of all the works that Ryoko has done, I would have to say that this one, entitled Fresh, Freshwater Bay, one, Freshwater Bay, because she has two of them, is probably my favorite, and if you ask me why, I would say it is uh, primarily because of the color and the trans use of transparent color that she's done in the rocks. There's a sense of movement and a sense of clarity in the water that draws me in and makes me want to stay here. Um, the shapes are kind of simple and, and that's what drew me from across the room is the simplicity there. But I really love the elegance and the way that she's handled the water here. It's a um, beautiful thing. Okay, I'm John Brewer. I'm the publisher of the Peninsula Daily News. I'm delighted to be at this exhibition, and I particularly enjoy this this painting there, Harvest Moon, which is interesting because it's coming up just this Monday, in fact. Um, I think this really shows a really a sense of colors, the deepness of the forest, which you certainly see around here, and of course the moon, the super moon, shining in like uh, like it is. It's going to be just next week. But it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Really, 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 really enjoy it. This is called Jamestown at the Jamestown Beach. Uh, this is when I go and the joint welcoming ceremony of all the canoes uh, coming from all over the uh, Pacific. And uh, when uh, landing, the uh, canoe captain will ask permission. And uh, when he's permitted, he greet and the land, and it is it captures the moment of a beautiful traditional ceremony, and I really enjoy. What is the material you are using? Okay, this is a, a, a mixed media. It's a uh, watercolor and acrylic, and it's a new uh, trial. This is a collage. I made this collage paper by myself just to show the uh, dynamic or energy of the captain. My name is Barbara Wise. I live in Port Angeles, Washington. I love this painting in particular because of its bright colors. It's ethereal, evocative feeling of the canoe journey coming through the mist. I think she's captured it beautifully. Uh, it's strong, like, like the pullers are. Um, just the vibrancy of the whole picture is fabulous. Hi, I'm Jackie Hakodi, and I really like this painting because, first of all, it reminds me of my husband because he's a big paddler. Um, secondly, I like it because it shows, to me, it shows a lot of strength, uh, positive strength. 
Um, I, I really like the way the boat comes in off of the frame. It's outside of the kind of the, the formal picture that comes off like that. Um, and it just makes me smile every time I look at it. This is titled uh, Regatta in Port Townsend. It's one of my plain air series. I mean the outdoor painting and uh, it is done in acrylic because it dries fast. You can get it done. And I just wanted to show the breeze and the dynamic regatta and just to capture and I really had a good time. Hello. My name is Danny Willis and I am going to comment on the painting Moonlight Madness. I think this painting has a, a lot of really interesting colors and patterns going on to it. It makes the moonlight actually seem really mad. And the yellow line makes me think of uh, the space view of the moon coming up over the edge of the earth. Hi, I'm Christy Harvison and this picture speaks to me. I guess I like the multimedia part of it and the colors. And every time I look at it, I see something different and it keeps drawing me back in. Um, I don't know why, but it... This is Ozette Lake. And this is an impression of my experience. My husband and I hiked a trail, all made by plank from Lake Ozette all the way to Pacific. And it's end of the loop. And uh, it's symbolically, I meant loop of our life. And the material is, um, it is the uh, Japanese rice paper pasted over the watercolor paper. Then I painted with acrylic and ink. It is a symbolic painting. How much does that painting cost? I am Janie, and Ryoko is a neighbor, and I like this picture because it's a the Ozen loop, and I have liked it many times. And it is called? Ozen Loop. Hello, my name is uh, Bob Travis, and uh, my wife Carol and I are neighbors with uh, Eckerd Ryoko, and we've always been big fans of uh, Ryoko's paintings, and we've come to her uh, exhibits several times in the past, and today I found a couple of paintings that I really like. The one to my right, your left, is uh, one of Travis Spitt, and of course that's uh, my last name, so I have an affinity to that one, but there are a number of paintings here that... Uh, Ryoko has done that we really enjoy. So it's been a good time and uh, again... Uh, can you see Travis Spit out of your window? Ah, uh, yes we can. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Judy. I am Judy. Judy Priest and I teach at the Senior Center. I've known Ryoko a long time and I'm very proud that she's doing these shows and she has come so far and this is my favorite of the whole show so far. I like them all, but this really just hits me as being ex excellent work. What do you like about it? I like the color, the vitality, the spirit of it. The, it just lifts me and makes me feel good. Yes. Thank you. You gotta feel good. <laughs> My name is Marcy. Every picture is beautiful. This is my favorite picture. What do you like about it? This is my favorite. This is your favorite. Yeah. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Drake Binswanger, and uh, I chose uh, Alone in the Garden in White as my favorite painting of the gallery. I love how it has all the, the whites and the yellows and greens and it gives it a really mellow and warm feeling to it. But then it has the black, the black uh, lines here to contrast it and then that pop of pink that just really makes the picture I feel. Thank you. I was immediately impressed by the way the sky seems to glow. Beautiful color. Oh. I'm Marilyn Carlson. And I'm delighted to be here at Ryoko's reception. And I'm looking at this picture right here. It just grabbed me when I came in because of the brilliant colors in it. I've always admired Ryoko's paintings. And she has done somewhat of a transformation in her styles. And I appreciate so much being here and seeing the beautiful work she's done. Ready. I am Eckhart Milstein. I am the artist's husband, and 
I like this painting very much because it has beautiful colors and I always tell my wife when she paints she should make it colorful because here in the Pacific Northwest everything is kind of green and uh, and sometimes the skies are gray and so to have a painting you need lots of colors in your house and I think this is a very good example where she picked beautiful combinations of colors and flowers and I'm a great fan of my wife's work.